Hi everyone, and welcome back to the MS Workouts YouTube channel. In today's video, our in-house yoga instructor, Michelle, is going to help your muscles recover by leading you through an awesome chair yoga session that's focused on reducing hip pain and sciatica. Now, before I pass it off to Michelle, I wanna make another really special announcement. We have just opened up the registration for our five-day foot drop immersive workshop. This is a five-day workout program that is free to join and doesn't require any credit cards to sign up. All you have to do is click the link below this video and register by using your email address. The first class officially starts on Monday, February 20th, so make sure that you register before then to be a part of this Foot Drop Immersive Workshop. If you do not register before that date, you will need to wait until the next registration opens up for the uh, next Foot Drop Immersive Workshop. And to be candid with you, we do not know when that's going to happen again. If you've been wanting to work with us on a closer basis, then this five day Foot Drop Immersive Workshop is the opportunity to do so. We're going to give you an entire workout program plus host live events where you can ask us your questions and get modifications to the exercises that you may need. And you will be getting results. Again, to register for the five day foot drop immersive workshop, just simply click the link below this video, or you can go to www.msworkouts.com and we're going to get started on Monday, February 20th, 2023. So make sure you register before then because I really wanna see you in this workshop. Okay, Michelle, go ahead and take it away and namaste. And sciatica. So if you're here, I'm assuming you've got some tightness in the hips, you're having some discomfort in the sciatic area. So we're going to work on that today, which can be challenging when we're seated a lot, but that's all right. That's why we're here. We're going to work on it. So for class today, I do want you to have a blanket, a towel, something of that nature. So you might need to pause to gather it up. So what I've done here is I've taken my blanket and I've laid it across the back of my chair so that some of the blanket is out into the chair, okay? And what we're doing is we're just creating kind of like a little ledge to sit up on. That's gonna make the hips a little more comfortable. So take your time, gather something up, pause if you need to. I'm gonna grab a drink of water while you get yourself settled. And we'll meet back here in a second. Okay, so hopefully you've got your blanket all situated nice and smooth coming down into the seat. And then kind of find comfortable. So I need to pull mine a little more forward in front of my six bones. Okay, so find something that's comfortable. And I'll do our little trick of leaning forward and walking your bum all the way back. Getting the tailbone back behind you, leveling up the floor of the pelvis a little bit, hips. And then roll yourself up and lean back, sitting up nice and tall. The spine might be kind of arched forward a little bit, belly poking out. That's all right for this practice. It's again, tipping the pelvis, getting some motion if it's comfortable for your back, right? This is your yoga practice, make it yours. I'm here to guide you. You are your best teacher in your own body. Okay, find your seat here, a little awkward, a little different, sitting up tall, hips behind you. Belly forward a little bit. Arms can be wherever you want them to be, get comfortable. Let's take several deep breaths. Eyes closed if that's comfortable. Big deep breaths in and out. Maybe blow them away out of the mouth. Starting to direct your breath down into your hips. Imagine you're breathing space into your hips, your low back, all this area we're focused on today. Breathing in, making space in that area. And as you breathe out, try to soften and settle. Maybe scoop the tailbone under a little bit, take some arch out of the spine to get even more comfortable. Maybe the shoulders need to drop or you need to wiggle the legs around. 
Taking a few more breaths into your hips, your low back. Try and find comfort as best you can. Before we get going, let's give the neck some attention. So just gently move the head and neck around in whatever way that feels good. Breathing deeply as you do this. If you need to reverse your direction, go ahead and do that now. Chair, lean forward. Go into that big belly forward arch again, shoulders back around, pushing your tailbone back behind you to get extra movement in the spine. And then from here, start to hinge forward. Take the hands to the knees, and then maybe the elbows down, keeping moving into downhill skier. Again, keeping the tailbone back, belly to the thighs, heart forward, shoulders back. Big cow spine and start to look up. Maybe gently could bring the gaze up. Breathe in, breathe out. Pick up your toes, spread them wide apart, set them down, root them down strongly. And with the toes strongly connected, we're going to really slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Extra slow, stretching your body up tall. Deep breath. And now stretch your arms out and up. Reach up, stretch up. Hook the thumbs, little arch back. Take the arms, let them go back as you explore a nice, comfortable back bend. Think of this more as a heart chest opener than arching the spine. Gently bring this to center and take a nice easy twist to the right. No big deal. Easy twist. Find it for yourself. Try to relax the hips, the low back. Let it gently ring out. And then nice and easily unwind yourself. Again, take the arms out and up at your own pace. Reach up. And then twist the other way. Take it the other direction. Nice, easy twist. We'll come back to this. Try to relax into your lower body. Breathe deeply. Arms go out and up. Hands come to the heart center. Make something just like that. Inhale, reach out, up. Exhale, draw the hands down and through. Breathing in to lift up, reach up, lift up. Imagine the sun shining on your face. As you breathe out, draw the warmth of the sun down into the body. With your breath. Breathing and moving in your own time. Nice and easy. Let's do one more. Hands come to the heart center. Bring your thumbs to your sternum. Close your eyes and just take a moment to catch up with the breath. Center yourself in the present. Remind yourself that right now you are practicing yoga. Time to connect. Just 
Shut the open the eyes. Release the hands. Lean forward and walk forward. One hip at a time. Walk this forward. So coming towards the edge of the chair, you might notice you want to grab the blanket and bring it underneath the hips. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see a little better. So, the idea is, is we're just using this to help tilt the pelvis a little bit. So if we bring the sits bones right to the edge of the blanket, you just get that little extra tip here. It might be a little more comfortable. And of course, if it does not work for you, don't do it. Just another option to try to make the practice a little more accessible in your body. All right, feet underneath the knees here, shifting forward in the chair. <coughs> Excuse me. Good, cat cows, nice and easy, arching round a few times. Generating the movement from the hips to the pelvis. So focus mostly on moving the lower body, tailbone front and back, pelvis shifting forward and back, and letting that motion carry up and out through the top of the head. Breathing, maybe with your motion, just freely breathing. Shifting up to a neutral spine, tailbone dropping in. Walk the feet together, knees together, or rock the knees side to side. Maybe give them some help with the hands. Just acting to loosen up the hips, no big deal. Stretch the legs out long. Always adjusting your seat how you need. Stretch your legs out long, heels on the floor. Or simply going to point and flex the toes a few times here. You know, warming up the legs, getting some blood flow. Warming up the joints nice and easy. Remember, hands are places that can go wherever. You want to feel stable. So make adjustments so that you feel stable. Okay, now we're going to flex the feet a little bit. Toes pulling back to the shins, knees dropping. Feeling some stretch in the back of the legs. Stretch up really tall. Lift your chest up or tall through the crown. The longer I sit here, the more I feel myself collapse. So just every once in a while, remind yourself, lift your chest. Deep breath. Easy twist to the right, no big deal. Maybe even gazing back, taking a twist round through the eyes. Keep breathing, grounded in your hips. Ah, and then nice and easily swing this around in the other direction, no big deal. Easy twist. Bend the knees up, help them up, feet on the floor. Good. Take a few more sun loops. Inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, draw the hands through. With your breath, inhale to lift, gather up warmth. Exhale, draw it down through you. Try to keep your hips relaxed as you do this. Stretching up. And then hands to heart. Feet steady. Downhill ski your elbows to thighs. Take your tailbone actively, push it back behind you. Long spine, continue to fold if you like. Maybe bringing the body onto the thighs. 
Maybe you're comfortable bringing the chest to the thighs, dropping the head in, finding the forward fold here, making sure you're grounded and steady in your feet and your toes. Take three breaths. If you feel discomfort, pressure behind the eyes, lift up. Okay, wherever you are, we're going to roll up slowly. So use your hands, wrap your spine up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Ah, deep breath. If you got a little dizzy, blow it out strong. Good. Figure four pose next. So here, We're going to cross ankle onto thigh. So let's start left leg lifts, ankle to thigh. Pause here for a second, okay? Good. I know I just did that. So, but for your pause, grab your thigh. We call it inner spiral. So we're going to take the inner part of the thigh down, outer part of the thigh out. So grab kind of underneath your buttons a little bit and spin that thigh. Hopefully what you feel is just a little more space, a little more comfort here. What we're doing is we're just moving the hip out a little bit, taking the thigh bone over to the side to make space, okay? Let's set up the rest of the pose. Ankle is comfortably crossed. You can play with how far, what feels good here. Let's start by activating the foot a little bit. Just gently draw the toes back to the shin. Just kind of safeguards the knee. Knees heavy with gravity. Let it just relax. Be here for a second. Stretch up tall. Try to lift out of your waist. So everything from waistline down is heavy, is moving down. Everything from waistline up is lifting up, expanding up, okay? Make sure your bottom foot feels steady, feels grounded. Hips as well, maybe wiggle them into the seat a little bit. Figure four in the legs. Gentle hinge forward, start to explore. We're gonna pulse. Inhale, lift up and out of your fold a bit. Exhale, explore, hinging forward, long spine, bottom foot strong. The more you hinge, the more press down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge, nice and easy. No big dramatic movements here, not necessary. There's plenty of time. So pulses with the breath in and out. Maybe you're ready to hold the hinge forward. All good. Do you. Three more breaths. One more breath. Good. Let's gently release. Give it some help. Or to the other side. We're going to try to keep things pretty symmetrical, pretty even from side to side. Okay. Good. Take your time. Set this up. Foot on the floor nice and steady. Spread the toes wide. Create a nice wide foundation. Good ankle, find that nice place and cross it as far or as little as you need. A little flex of the foot, toes to the shin a little bit. It might feel a little better in the knee. Pause here for a second. Let the knee hang. Let's do our thigh adjustment, inner spiral. So outer hand grabs to the outer, inner hand to the inner. Good, move it out. Lift up. Pull the flesh out and over to the side. Hopefully that feels a little better, a little more spacious. Okay, making the adjustments. Stretch up tall. Gently and forward. Explore how it goes. This side might have a really different response. That's okay. Inhale, stretch up, lift out. Okay, let's get that pulsing. Exhale, a little hinge. Bottom foot strong. Remember, the more you hinge, the more you push the foot down. Good. Three breaths, pulsing or holding, totally up to you. Okay. 
if you're joining me today for some sciatica stuff, this is a great thing to do. And it just feels accessible for your body. You can try to kind of throw this in wherever you can during the day. Okay. And make sure you're getting that inner spiral of the thigh when you do it. That's really going to be extra beneficial. Okay. I think that was three breaths. I started talking less track. Good. All right. Release. That really nice. Wiggle the knees around. Loosen the hips up with the upper body going with it. Just loosen, loosen it up. Okay, we're going to do that again. Adding a twist. So left leg lifts. Take your time. Find your placement. Okay. Inner spiral of the thigh if you need to. Make that space. Gentle flex of the foot, twist of the shin, okay? We're gonna twist towards the lifted knee, so twisting to your left, nice and easily. No big deal. I like for this hand to kind of weight on the knee, not really pushing, just being weighty there. Deep breaths, breathe into your left hip, left side, left low back. One more breath. You can easily unwind yourself. Switch the sides. Okay, taking your time, finding your alignment. Place your ankle, steady your foot. Knee nice and heavy. Maybe you need another inner spiral. Okay, when you're ready, twisting towards the lifted knee nice and easily. Plenty of time to breathe into the twist. Okay, maybe the hands resting on the knee, a little weighty there, a little encouragement as you continue to breathe. One more breath. Gently unwind and release. Okay, next we're going to come into our warrior two. So if you're still on the blanket with me, go ahead and move the blanket out from underneath you since we're going to be kind of twisting in our seat. Wiggling really far forward in the chair. Let's start with the left leg. Open the left leg out to the side, okay? And keep working on your placement in your chair. And the right leg stretches out straight. Okay? So here's a nice place to inner spiral the back thigh. Especially being on a chair, it doesn't quite allow this hip to rotate like we want it to. So we want the thigh rolling down into the floor, hip rolling open. So kind of opposing actions here. This thigh is rolling down, hip is rolling back to open, right? Hip openers here. Maybe push the knee open towards the pinky toe, maybe not, okay? Shoulders lift. I'm going to keep the arms simple here, hands at heart center. If you want to go big arms, do you. Good. Focusing on the hips, rolling the hips open, Dropping the tailbone long. So if you're here for some sciatic low back stuff, tailbone long makes space there. Good. And a little arch back. Back foot strong. A little arch back. Low back breathe. Three. One more breath. Gently come back to center. Extended side angle. Elbow to the thigh. Again, if you want to take the top arm up, great. I like hand on hip here, encouraging the hip opener. Use your front elbow to push the knee open. All good. Three breaths. Look up. Breathe. 
Push down to the bottom elbow, rise up. Walk the legs back in. Okay, quick little cat cow here. Check in with yourself. And other side, okay. Right knee bends open out, right leg opens out. Left leg stretches back, warrior two. Grab that back thigh, give it a roll down. Hold the flush back behind you, okay? Wiggle into it, find your legs, take your time. Arms go wherever you want to go. So hips opening, right? Chest lifting, little lean back into the back leg. Feel that extra bit of space and breathe. Nice and easy. Bring it back to center. Elbow to thigh. Hand to hip for arm lifts. Extended side angle. Still encouraging the knee to open. Hips to open as you look up and breathe. Push down, come up. Really nice. Keep the right leg where it is. Bring the left leg into match for goddess legs. The knees open. Hands on the thighs. Lean forward. So you're going to wiggle around and move your stance, move your feet, move your seat, wiggle into it. Knees opening. We'll let the right shoulder drop. Kind of a little twist to the left here. Feet heavy, knees opening. Nice and easily take this in the other direction. Deep breath. And nice and easy, come up. We're going to the first side again. Dip down, maybe a little deeper. And gentle come up, go the other way. Good. And rise up. Walk the legs together. And feet together. Can you stretch your right leg out long? Okay. Where's the windshield wide where the left knee open and close? Just encouraging the left hip to open. For you. We're going to take the foot onto the thigh, maybe hold the shin, maybe a little up and down. It's kind of stretching out the hips some more, getting some interesting ranges of motion that we don't usually do. Okay, and then the foot's going to cross over the leg. And then bend your bottom knee up. So knees are crossed. Stacking on top of one another. If that doesn't feel right, come back to the figure four, or if you just prefer the shape, if that feels like a better stretch to you, go for that. Bottom foot grounded, we're gonna hinge a little forward. And rise up. Okay, really nice, uncross the legs. Other side. Other leg, left leg stretches out. Windshield wiper, your right leg open and closed. Just loosen up the head, no big deal. Okay, and if it works for you, picking up the foot onto the thigh, giving it some support, some motion here. Now 
sliding the leg all the way over other side, bending the bottom leg, bringing the knees crossed, or the figure four option. Bottom foot grounded for a nice easy hinge forward, deep breath. back on your chair, pull your belly in, engage your abdominals, and scoop your tailbone down into the chair, feeling the lower back lengthen, and then relax back down into your hips. Make sure your feet are comfortable. As you relax all the muscles in your face, neck, and shoulders, the arms be heavy, stomach relaxed, hips relaxed, low back, and legs. Remind yourself that right now you are practicing yoga. Please continue to rest and relax for as long as you can. I'll close my time with you here. I wish you peaceful thoughts, peaceful words, and peaceful actions. Thank you so much for choosing to exercise with us today. And if you want to work with us on a more structured program, then make sure that you register for our no-cost five-day foot drop immersive workshop. This workshop will help you reduce your foot drop so you can have better mobility to do the things that you love. All you have to do to register is click the link below this video or just go to www.msworkouts.com to learn more about it. The five-day foot drop immersive workshop takes place only during certain times of the year. So make sure that you're registered so that you can be notified whenever the first class officially begins. We look forward to seeing you there.